So you're talking about two M and A deals that you've done, Bleacher and Inverse. Having never done one myself, what would surprise me the most about doing an M and A deal, outside of the mental health component, outside of the emotional component, just about the tactical business components of of what you actually do, what would surprise me the most? Um, I mean, unfortunately, the you know the one of the surprises just how grueling they are and how you know I think you know certainly I can't speak for every deal and every process, but our experience at at, uh, at Bleacher, you know, it was a nine month, eight nine month process, you know, from start to finish uh, uh, of selling the company, and that was you know we were not trying to sell the company. That was with Turner coming to us and saying, Hey, we want to buy you guys. Um, and the, you know, from there that kicked off a whole process where, you know, we negotiate with them. We started negotiating with other people. Um, and you know, there's just a lot of kind of tricky balance that goes into something like that. Because on the one hand, you know, you're, you know, once you start, you know, agree to engage in a process like that, you know, you start to think about, okay, you know, what do I need to do to get the deal done? You know, what, like all the diligence that goes into it, all the, you know, kind of the planning of, you know, how you get to the finish line of the deal. But then at the same time, there's always a possibility that the deal doesn't happen or that it, you know, you decide to, you know, cut it off for some reason or they decide and you still have, you're still operating a business. And, you know, you're still leading a team, uh, you know, you're still, you still need to think about the long term and, you know, kind of where, you know, where you're going to take the business if you don't sell it. Um, and so you're kind of living in two different worlds and imagine doing that for eight or nine months, um, you know, where, you know, and, and there's, you know, there's some, some interesting dynamics at play. You have to decide at what point to bring other people on the team under the tent and kind of let them know what's happening because mm -hmm. you do that too early and you know, you know, they get the same level of distractions that you do. And all of a sudden, like, you know, your, your business progress can start to start to tank as everyone start to focus on the deal. Um, but you know, you do that too late and you risk, you know, kind of trust issues with the team or you, you know, you at certain points you need to bring people in because, you know, they need to be involved in certain aspects of the diligence. And again, every deal is different. Usually, you know, the, you know, the, the key management team is, is, is heavily involved in the process, but um, you know, with at, when we were selling Bleacher Report, we had almost 250 employees at one point, you know, and it was still a few months before the deal closed the, the news or the, you know, kind of the rumors of, the negotiations leaked to the media. Uh, so Wall Street Journal wrote an article about it. And, you know, we had to kind of talk to the team and say, hey, you know, yeah, there's reports out there. Yeah, we're talking to, you know, Turner. We're, we talked to other people. We're always looking at, you know, kind of different, you know, what the best opportunity long term for the business is. But as of right now, you know, you know, we're, we're we don't have a deal. You know, we're focused on you know, building the company and, you know, we'll let you know if that changes, but, you know, just that, you know, kind of that specter in itself can, it just put, you know, puts the business in a very weird place. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like a, a real balancing act to, to try to go through it because, you know, you're basically, you know, you're, you're living two different lives, you know, the whole time that, that, uh, you know, that the process goes on. 